Hey guys, welcome to another video. My name is Catherine Vargas and today we're going to be doing a review on the new Makeup Forever HD Skin. So this is what the packaging looks like. I went ahead and picked mine up in 2Y20 and then this is what it actually looks like. It's so nice and like luxurious feeling. It does have like that nude on nude kind of um, vibe. The bottle is glass so it's definitely luxurious feeling. And basically this is what I am demoing today. It's actually what's on my skin obviously today. So before I jump into this video, I wanted to go ahead and just talk about like the specs. Then we can do the demo and then at the end we'll just talk about like my final thoughts type of thing. So like I said, I did pick up the Makeup Forever HD Skin Undetectable Long Wear Foundation. They had a bunch, a bunch of shades to choose from, so that's a good thing. To be honest, I'm still kind of iffy about the shade. It was supposed to be like a yellow undertone, but I don't see like the yellowness in this. It gives me more of a neutral, so I might switch this for a better shade. We shall see. And then it is supposed to be waterproof, a medium coverage, a natural finish, and then best for oily to combo skin, or so it says on the website. So let's read the highlighted ingredients. So it is supposed to be a micro skin system, vital skin movements provide immediate high coverage and smooth skin. Let me tell you, let me just give you a little preview. This does have a very good kind of like blurring effect to the skin. So it does, it definitely does that. So I will give it that. And it does have a vegetable origin glycerol, helps to preserve the initial moisture of the skin during the 24 hour period which is kind of interesting to me because it has kind of, or so it says, moisture. So how will that work kind of for a oily to combo skin, especially when this isn't matte, more of a natural finish? Definitely it's just supposed to be waterproof, sweat proof. Some of the results were that 98 agree that color did not change after drying so it's not going to oxidize the complexion looks smoother i definitely agree with that and i also agree that it doesn't oxidizes and then the foundation did not crack or cling to patches throughout the day so that is some of the claims and this does cost 43 dollars it is pretty pretty pricey i mean kind of like the same price that they always like the same price point that they always have all their foundations but it's definitely pricey okay so that is some of the specs so now let's just jump right into the demo i did like a really quick one and kind of just show like a quick tutorial of me just doing the rest of the makeup and then from there we'll just move on to my final thoughts like i said so before I jump in to the demo, don't forget to comment, don't forget to subscribe per usual, and let's just jump right into this demo. Alright guys, so we are zoomed in. I'm going to go ahead and just prime my face really quick. I'm using the Professional. Alright, so like I said, I am using shade 2Y20, so I'm just going to dot it. Then I'm just going to take my Beauty Blender to blend it out. So this is what it looks like on this half compared to this half. It is buildable so I'm going to go ahead and just put the remaining of what I have on the back of my hand on the side of my face. So I'm just going to keep dotting it. I did mention that I did use this foundation already just to go ahead and test it out because I was kind of iffy on the shade. But I think the shade is good. And when I went ahead and used it for the first time, I also went ahead and 
did two layers because I do like a full coverage. I feel with the one layer, it covers up pretty good, but it doesn't go all the way to full coverage. So this is what I would consider full coverage. There is nothing peeking through, anything like that. And basically, no foundation. Then we have foundation. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other side of my face. The one thing that I do like about this so far is that it does have that lightweight feeling to it. So even though I put basically one entire pump on this side of my face, it doesn't feel cakey. So let me go ahead and just finish this side up really quick. So this is what it looks like with everything on my face. Like I said, it looks really, really good. It does look like skin. I'm going to zoom you guys even more so you guys can see better what my like skin texture and everything looks like. But there's hardly even any texture. You guys are basically going to see when I zoom you guys in. So let me go ahead and do that for you guys. So like I said, really lightweight on the skin, it doesn't feel cakey, can be buildable. So I'm going to go ahead and just start doing my makeup to see or to make sure that everything kind of blends well together. Like I said, this is my second time using it so I kind of already have my opinion on it. I'm also going to give you guys my opinion on how it wore, especially because I have oily to combo skin because I do have... A little bit of a, an opinion on that so let's go ahead and rewind this and finish the rest of this face so i decided to go ahead and do this part a voice over so i am just using the huda beauty concealer you're gonna see here that it is nice and brightening okay then for a bronzer i'm just using the persona in sahara and this blend out so beautifully you guys are gonna see here I'm just like, yes, it did not disrupt the foundation whatsoever, and it just looked nice and beautiful. For a blush, I'm taking the Rare Beauty in Bliss, one of my favorites. Same thing, didn't disrupt the foundation. Then I am using the Makeup Forever powder, and I'm using one of the puffs that I came with. And guys, this is game changer, okay? It looks so nice. For bronzer, I'm taking the Milani Baked Bronzer in Luminoso. Then I just set my face with the Professional. Alright guys, so we do have the entire face done. We got bronzer, concealer, blush, everything like that. Everything it did work nicely with the foundation. The foundation did not break. Um, everything laid on top pretty good. So kudos to that so i want to actually just sit down and talk about my opinions so this is supposed to be a natural finish which i do agree with it's supposed to be kind of like a lightweight kind of your skin for better and i do agree with that but i was reading that it is best for oily to combo skin and i have to say i did wear this for about i want to say seven ish hours and i was sitting in the car and you know that feeling when you have like kind of the, the sun directing itself into like the car? So I feel like the sun was basically in my face and I must say after those like 8 hours or 7 hours later when I came home, my face was looking really really oily. So I have oily to combo. I don't consider myself to be like crazy oily. If you have just oily skin, I don't know if you are gonna like this. This is definitely a touch up kind of every like five hours or so kind of thing maybe every four hours you're definitely gonna have to touch up but this would be so beautiful if you have in my opinion normal or even dry skin for 42 dollars i really really like this foundation i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna return it it's really good there's so many shades so so many variety to choose from it's lightweight and it does have kind of like that blurring kind of poor skin effect. I did put the primer, which you guys saw I used the professional because I do have a lot of pores. But other than that, like, I feel like it looks so, so good. So I definitely recommend this foundation. You definitely need to check it out. I hope you guys loved this review. Let me know what other products you want to see. And I guess I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.